I've decided I've got to start wearing my hair less curled because like damage. Just don't ever wash your hair. I'm gonna do a video about that, you guys. If you'd be interested in seeing my journeys with not washing my hair, because currently I'm like, an everyday washer. Wash my hair today, don't wash it till like Monday night. Well, we're gonna do a video on it. Hey guys, yes, yes, and yes. I feel like we frequently miss out on the VIB sales. Well, no, we usually shop, we just don't talk no, about it. No, no, do you remember the, there have been, at, there have been at least two times we've been in Sephora, Stephanie. People are like, oh yeah, the 20% off sale starting this weekend and we've oh, just no, bought no, 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 $200 no, 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 no. worth of it's stuff. It's Thursday and we buy it and they go, it starts tomorrow. We yeah. go, oh well. <laughs> yes, that's I'm not bad on back. our part. Well, we're already there. We've already invested like an hour of looking at stuff. Yeah, and I'm then like, it's like, hey, I don't want to put it back and come back Can tomorrow. you just like hold my basket? I'll come back tomorrow and actually buy all this stuff. But anyways, you guys love these videos and want to see us do more like them where we actually, you know, ahead of time, like we did, let you know our recommendations and wishlist items. We made a video. It, the sale's still going on if yeah. you want to check out our recs and wishlist and all that. Today we're going to give you a rundown of what we bought first round. But if they let, did we tell them to like We're going to the tell video? them. We're going to tell them. Like, like it, like it. If you like this kind of thing. If you like this kind of thing. You said that. Yeah. And subscribe and hit notifications, all notifications, because then you won't miss these videos. Right. Segue. That was our first round of Rex, and this is our first round of a haul. And we have possibly a few more Rex slash wish list items slash in our cart slash probably gonna purchase more. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. <sighs> So stay tuned. Um, also, fun fact, on madisonandmallory.com, we just launched some new park apparel shirts. Super cute, we saw our Disney trip where we had our wake up, park hop, dream repeat shirts. And our princess material. They are up there now. In, in tons in of color. So many fun colors. Super springy kind and fun. Kind of want them all. Secret for the princess material shirt, we tried to do colors based on princesses. Like if you wanna like costume, like cosplay, but not, but just like, color themed stuff, you know? It's fun. We're just gonna start talking about what we got. You know the cart where you get cart shy and you get to the end of it and you're like, I gotta eliminate something. That? Yeah. Do I need that? I, and then you get it down below that threshold, you're like, yeah, that's good. I eliminated my first aid beauty, triple I duty remedy because. There's so many new things you wanted to try. Yes, and I was like, Wait a second though, is Ulta doing a deal right now too? So they were doing 20% off and I don't know if it was last week or what. I didn't see a coupon for that. I'm bitter betty. I am bitter betty too. I want to get on, in on that. Same these. Let's just start off with something that is a refill for us. And that's Beauty Blender. I tried my hardest to find a better value, a more fun purchase for this within Sephora. Cause sometimes they'll have like duos or they'll have you gotten, one with a holder. You could have gotten two with a cleanser. Mm, then I did, I read the reviews and they're like, they're not the same. And that always scares me. Oh. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just getting. I didn't even want a different one. color. Oh no. I just wanted classic pink beauty blender. Yeah. That's it. Oh, should I should I talk about my my poo poo one? Oh you. Have, oh yes, she has a poo poo one. I have a poo poo one. It. Why did I say poo poo? I don't know. My womp womp. My I'm sad. I have to return this. If you guys remember back in oh 2015, I had like a signature lip color, mostly because we were dyeing our hair crazy colors and it matched my hair, mm. and I loved it. And it was the Too Faced Melted Matte Queen Bee. And I still have the one from 2015. And it smells so old. Maddie that works with us here, she has one too, and her's starting to smell old. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, maybe it's just getting to be time. So I repurchased one and it smells old. I wanna smell it. Mind you, I have another color from 2015 that does not smell old. It just, yeah. It smells old. Yeah. And if a oh. and I told Matt, I said, if that is what the lipstick is supposed to smell like when you first buy it, I don't want it. Yeah. Makes me nauseous it when I put it on. It kind of just like yeah. old. Like old, sulfury, just, just bad. not good. So Pretty color. I told them I was going to take this back to Sephora in store and ask them to smell my new one before I pay for it. Yeah. Because I don't want to leave the store and it be old. Yeah, it's stinky. Yeah, it's a gorgeous stinky. color. Also, if you like that, Cool Girl's a good color. That's what I'm wearing right now. I don't remember who I saw talk about this. I thought you were going to say I don't remember purchasing. <laughs> no, I remember. No, I just go into this like unconscious state and I just start clicking and People buying. People do. Maybe, but not me. I want to say it was Jam Beauty. I tried not to burp. Hey, they love it when you do it. Okay, I want to say it was Jam Beauty and this is the Sephora Outrageous Plump Effect. And here's my other issue with buying stuff from Sephora. Sometimes I can't remember if I bought it already. Oh no, did you buy it already? <gasps> I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, it's bad. Okay, it's bad. Oh, y'all, if y'all saw right. our vlog where we were cleaning out our our filming room, like, and we still have not decluttered, but like, there's a lot. Okay? And that's not even all of our. That's shared. Yeah, we have stuff at home. So this is in number two. Mm, who sings you that? Know, I thought I was getting XXL nude. It's supposed to have a plumping effect. Is it matte or liquid? It's what? a gloss. Like oh. it's yeah no. Oh, minty. Maybe. It's interesting scent. It smells like vanilla, but like, I don't know, it's curved. I'm bringing gloss back. No, you're not. You're just jumping on the train. I don't know what it is. I just want to wear gloss. <laughs> Said every girl ever this season about yellow. I don't know what it is. I just want to wear yellow. Okay. I think it's got a tingle happening. But anyway, I just thought it was a really pretty color. And if nothing else, it'd be really pretty over top of like other colors and just, you know, just give that plump, juicy effect. Love it. Mm -hmm. I got the It Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. And it says for oily and acne prone skin. And I'm not really oily, but for some reason I've been breaking out a little bit lately. And I was like, what if I could have something that I can put on underneath my makeup that could be like killing it. Treatment. While I've got makeup on. And Look at me. It's actually. It looks really good right now. Yes. And that, I kind of punched myself when I was, uh, after I checked out, because I was like, I'm having like better skin right yeah. now. But you never know when it's going to strike. So maybe right. it's because it's that time of the month and it's like I'm past that buildup and it's, it's like. Chilling out. Super. Could be. I don't know. But I wanted to have it in a pinch and it's really cool. Have you seen this? Like. Mm -hmm. I'm person? tingling it's over here. It's so dang cute. It's like it a little jar. It makes me think of the L'Oreal Foundation True Match. Cool. Yeah, it's cute. It's like there's my pimple right there, and you just go do 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 do. Yeah, it's a good color too. <gasps> Y'all, this is reminiscent of the um, Elf lip injection. Oh, it is. Probably even worse. Yeah. I'm not excited for this. Well, I hope it does good things for you. I mean, right now it can't do anything for me. Granted, I do have a poor professional thing on. That doesn't usually cover pimples. Well, that just your makeup and your face looks real pretty and like nice. So what are you wearing the the Tarte foundation again? Yes. Is it the water one? Yeah, it's I, the Tarte Rainforest. Still so Cause I I bought one and yeah, then we got good. it it's nice. good. okay I feel like it's not like coverage but like it's so it looks really flattering yes mm -hmm. but it looks like good coverage mm -hmm. but a nice finish that's like not too matte but not and it too doesn't dewy. get the like I don't feel like I get the gross no matter what I do with the Laura Looney I feel like I get a dewiness right here that's not cute looks you like your pro glow yeah, did I say Lumi? I meant mm -hmm. Pro Glow. Yeah. yeah, where you're just like sweaty looking. And we'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to shop it. It's a good time. VIB Rouge and VIB. VIB Rouge gets 15%. And yes, and they got the first week. Right now, currently, it's everyone. everyone can shop. So this definitely was inspired by Jam Beauty. Oh, duh. I've already opened it and smelled it. Did yeah, you? same. Couldn't help it. Yeah, but I've pretty much kept everything in my box and I was like, I am not. Oh, I didn't like use it. Like, I'm anything. not going into this stuff until we haul because. Is because so it is the glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer for oily to combo skin it has hyaluronic acid in it it's hydrating soothing oil-free daily moisturizer it perfects skin with lush juicy hydration lasting it's lit from within watery ultra dewy glow it smells so good it's really good like bubble gum watermelon bubble gum yeah a commercial watermelon scent which I, I get it because it's I don't not care how many moisturizers do you have that smell like watermelon mm. It and like look think, that pretty. You know, it kind of also sort of reminds me of the cucumber melon scent from Bath and Body Works like back I get in the that. day. Fresh. Yeah. Mm. I love it. Oh, it's on my nose. <sighs> it's just enough scent where it's not like it's not overpowering. overpowering. Yeah. But if you want that experience of like yummy, delicious scent when you're putting your moisturizer on, it is yummy and it is delicious. And the bottle, shut up, you guys. It's so pretty. And it's not that expensive. I think it was like 39? 39, I think, for two ounces. Like, that's not that bad. For it makes me want to clean your bathroom. Your bathroom because it's so pretty and I want to display it. I probably won't though. I probably won't. <laughs> skincare, more skincare. Y'all, I was feeling really depressed about my skin when you I made too? this. You know We've got a lot of makeup. Yeah. So I, I kind of feel like I'm getting into skincare well, more. Well, my problem is my skin ranges from super dry to super oily, pimply sometimes. Yeah. And it just depends on... Oh! It just depends on if I've been traveling, if I'm on my period. Yeah. Just it just depends. And I go into my collection when I'm having those problems, and I'm like, do I have something to help combat this? Yeah. And I don't a lot of the right. times because I don't buy it. And so this is Peter Thomas Rothwich because I like their the skincare Cloud I have from cream. them currently. I wanted to try this, and this had really good reviews. It's the therapeutic sulfur mask, and it's an acne treatment mask with 10% maximum strength sulfur. It clears acne, absorbs oil, clear, it cleans your pores, it has soothing aloe. I mean, it's just like a good. One of my favorite treatment. things when I have a really bad 
angry zit is to get a mud mask type that has clay. This has clay stuff. In yeah. It, so. I just find that when I put it on that zit, it just pulls it out and brings it to a head. And I'm sorry, I'm a popper, but it, you know, that's just. And this says you can use this on your body too. So if you're like, I have really bad chest breakouts. Well, like you can't see them. It's more of like just an overall, like you'll just see like little bumps that Mine I have. Mine is here. Breakouts happen on my chest. Like they come to a head on my chest. They're not huge, but they're a little small ones and I hate them. So this is something that I could like spot treat my chest with. It says back, it says face, back chest, knee, and back. Butt knee. And it says you allow it to dry for five to 10 minutes and you rinse it and pat dry. I did it. I freaking did it. It's in my cart right now, but the kit is in my cart. Yeah, someone said go for the kit. That's what I put. Cause it's it's $10 but, more for two more products. Yeah. So this is the SK2 facial treatment essence. I've been using this in a sample for a month and a half, going on two months and. <sighs> Does it make you happy to see that? So good. It makes me happy that it's so big because I know how, I love how my skin feels when I wake up in the morning after I've used it. But I have such a tiny bottle, I don't wanna use it, so I'll skip a day. But then I'm like, dang, I don't wanna skip it because it makes it feel really good. It makes my skin feel calmed and smooth and it feels like the redness is decreased and it just feels like new skin. I need to take all my makeup off tonight and be like, Stephanie, what do you not like about your skin? Because the things that I know that I don't like are the wrinkles, obviously, who likes wrinkles? and the texture. Yeah, well I wanna know your guys' opinion on the kit. Steph's, Steph's looking at the kit, the SK2 kit. I love it, and I'm not sad that I got this guy. I'm not sad, I'm not sad at all, because I already know using the sample how awesome my skin feels in the morning. And that's yeah. all I need to know. This was a, this was just a random, I didn't even hear about this one, this concealer. It honestly was intriguing because I have issues with fine lines under my eyes and like mm. concealers and things kind of tend to settle in there. Now I'm like taking a camera. And I have been using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. We got it in a PR package and I have really enjoyed it. My only concern is, and it might just be mine. The little lid here that like squeegees off the product is defective on mine and I keep having to like push it back down in there, but I have it in the color light for this one? fair. fair. Huh. I love it for under eyes for just that little extra, just coverage that doesn't crease or get gross looking. It just looks nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm enjoying that. You're always on the hunt for another concealer. Are you? I don't, I don't know. know. You're always wanting to buy more makeup. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I think I was shopping the sales section and I came across this one and it's the- Was on sale? I don't remember. I didn't know Sephora had a sale section. They do. <laughs> they have a sale section. And it says smoothing and brightening concealer with hydrating hyaluronic acid. Under eye area is always a dry place. Maybe it could be good. I've never used it before. Total like splurgy. Just trying, trying something it. new. Seeing if it sticks. We'll see. I got it guys. I finally got it. The dry bar triple sec three in one. Okay. It texturizes it amplifies and it refreshes. And I don't know why they don't market it more as like a type of dry shampoo. They do have a dry shampoo, but it says, and I quote, quote, it creates tousled sexy texture, Ooh. adds volume and fullness, yes. and it absorbs oils and freshens your hair. So it's like so a, dry it's a dry shampoo. shampoo. But it smells, have you smelled it? I haven't. Oh yeah, I, I got it, I got oh, it. Isn't it good? Yeah, it's good. This was so much better than any dry shampoo I've ever used. It has like almost a salon smell to me. Yeah, I get that. It smells good. But I'm really excited it's expensive. So if you have any interest in dry bar, now is the time to try it. Or I don't think it's a good value, but the little tiny things they offer the cash wrap, yeah. it's always a good way to test it. Even if it's not a good value, you're still not spending 20 something dollars. You're just spending 12. And if you hate it, you've only spent 12. There it is. Versus 20 something. So I love. I've been wanting these since the. But like you're making me feel like I need to get those because if I get this, yeah. I need those. I want to use it with my SK2. Uh -huh. So this is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. It is $10 and you get 165 sheets. No, you don't. I'm just yeah, kidding. You do. The only way this could be better is if it had like a little like yeah. Ziploc key situation. It's opportunity. On. Yeah. But I could get like a big gallon storage bag and just like pop it in there and then no, like. You don't know the Shiseido. No, no, I'm not going to take them out of here. Oh. Just so they don't like <laughs> fling them out or like whatever. I'm excited. I actually was watching somebody and I can't remember because I've been watching a lot of Sephora videos and someone said there was a dupe for these and I can't remember what they were. If y'all know down in the comments. But how much are those? Ten dollars. I mean, it's a lot, but it's also like not that bad. Yeah. If you if they was really like fifty dollars, like I couldn't. Well, get yeah. That. But same. I think a better time would be at the twenty percent off sale because then they're eight. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff smells real good. Doesn't it? It does. 
and it lingers. And it, and that's my thing with dry shampoo. If it stinks and it lingers, yeah. Ew, but it doesn't. But that stink. you don't mind getting whiffs of it throughout the day. Run, don't walk for this. Maybe that's what I was smelling on you one day when I was asking you about perfume. Guys, I think everyone and their mama bought this for the yeah, sale. Yeah, they did. And I'm not ashamed because no. I think we bought the modern Renaissance, but we have not really grabbed for it. Well, no, we just haven't really also dove into the Anastasia eyeshadow world. It's not really. So it's prettier in person than on videos. The colors? That, the packaging. Oh, I'm not really a fan of the packaging. I'm not not for any other reason other than it just doesn't do anything for me. Right, but I'm saying like it's better in person. It on, nicer. on camera, it looks like. It just makes me think of old school naked palette. Yeah. Velvet. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for this right here. Hopefully, shoot, it's good quality. But I'm thinking, good. I know, I'm thinking some dusty rose in my crease. If I'm going for the pinky stuff and like moving on into some rose pink. And then if I want to do some gold, there's some gold. If I want to do some like burnt orange sienna, that's there. I also there's feel- black. I also feel like it looks darker in person than what I got from seeing it on videos. You know what though? I Sometimes I prefer a dark one that I can just barely dab my brush in and like but really just does work it, it seem in. Dark, darker? Darker? I'm not sure. I, w I, was, I was expecting it to be lighter. I want to use orange soda just for the name. I know. I you want, know who I loves want... orange soda? K -k 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 Kale loves orange soda. You do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> soft glam, eyeshadow palette. I'm excited. And I just want to touch, I just want to touch. I just want to touch. I'm, I haven't, I'm, I don't want to. That one's been plaguing me to be touched. That's pretty, wow. Oh, whoa. That's gonna look pretty. That would look pretty on your lid. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's touch glistening. Me. Fairy. Oh, oh. Butter. Wow. Buttery. Good stuff. Bronze. One more. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my god. That's intense. That's really pretty. It's been touched and I'm excited to try it. I want to try all those perfumes. Do you? Yeah. Why didn't I already have this done? I told you in our recommendations and wish list video that I really wanted the Sephora Favorites perfume sampler because I already knew there was one in here that I wanted. That's the generous one, right? Or no, no that's the small one. They have one that's like- $75 and you get bigger sizes. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think there's anything in there that I really want. I don't think there was either. There's Flower before. Bomb, so like I could back up get Flower Bomb because it's 75 for the sampler. The one ounce that you redeem it for is 85. Yeah. So at $75 with 15% off, it's like, a lot better deal than yeah. paying. But anyway, I digress. This is $65. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the one ounce YSL Black Opium is $69. So you, you're already saving money just by buying this and redeeming it for that perfume. But you get all of these samples inside. So it makes a really good gift because if you know someone really loves perfume but you don't want to like pick a fragrance they might not like, it gives them what's 16. Nirvana Amethyst. I don't know if I've smelled them. How many is this? They have Saint and Center in there. 17. 17 samples. There's a certificate right here where you can redeem it for a full size of any one of these scents in here. I know I want black opium. It's something that I had in rollerball form and I really liked it. And I want the full size, so. I didn't get samples. <sighs> She's bitter bad. Not on purpose. I picked them out and they did not show up. I don't know if they got removed or what. That's what I think happened. So this was a 100 point perk. It is the the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. Morning. Sounded interesting. I haven't really done a lot of Kiehl's skincare, so I was like, I'll try it. And then this was a 500 point perk. I have wanted to try these Clinique Party Pops lipsticks and it looked like it was a pretty color. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. It was, so this is the little Clinique mm -hmm. lipstick. It's a pretty color. Yeah. And it, I mean, that's a good size lipstick. I mean, it honestly looks like a gift with purchase you would get at Clinique for spending like $30 or something. This is an eye makeup remover. I like shaking these. I know. Their high impact mascara and their liquid eyelining pen. And guess what? It's a brush. Shut up. Yeah, brush. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I need to get that just because it's free. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's points. It's points, but, but I have points. I never so. find points that I want to spend it on, but I felt like this was good. Like, I can always use a black eyeliner. Eye makeup remover is never bad to have. I liked this lip color, and then, you know, I've used this mascara before and liked it. So, cool. it was a good it was a good point for me. And then, the perfume samples I got were the Guerlain Shalimar Victor and Rolf 
Spice Bomb, which is a boy fragrance. And did you get it for Bucky or did you? Need I mean, I too? figured he. No, I did. Okay. I figured he could check it out. And then I also got a Wild Fox perfume, which I forgot because I've been wearing it, but I don't think it lasts long enough. It's like right here. Most floral. It is. Yeah. What, what are we getting next? <laughs> okay. Stop. Um, I'm slightly just... embarrassed to admit that there are still things that I want from this dang sale, but I have been plagued by watching so many videos and... Here are some things in my car. Well, I put the Kat Von D in my car because I didn't get it last time, but I think I'm going to get the Sephora, I mean the Clinique instead. But we both have the Drunk Elephant Acid Trip acid trip in our cart, which is in totally like, embarrassing. Same. I have been hearing people talk about it before the sale. I don't same. know if they were getting it in PR or what, but they were like, it's called Hydra Mist and that's weird because it's a powder. But it's cooling. Yeah. Yeah, I had heard somebody talk about it before too. I really want the Olaplex hair Perfector number three. I saw it, but I didn't. Yeah, I had seen it and I was like, oh, Plex, that's what they like try to put in our hair whenever we're getting it bleached yeah. and stuff. And I was like, well, maybe I should try this. Yeah. So, I've got yeah. the SK2. It's the Patera Welcome Kit. Okay. It has the Essence Facial Treatment Clear Lotion and this New Age Cream. So it's like a cream. Yeah. It's like $20 more than this size mm -hmm. is or $10. I maybe it's $10. I haven't decided more. what I want. This was $99. And there's this option, which doesn't have the cream or it has the has a treatment mask. That's the small That's, size they yeah. have. It's $99. <laughs> I'm like, I want something more. I don't want to pay that much. I haven't decided yet. What you need to do is you need to use mine tonight. They have midday essence. Just buy it. <laughs> Just buy it. I'll let you use mine tonight and then... But I don't feel like I'll know after a night. You're like, no, you'll know. I could you'll tell. You'll know. I could tell. I don't know. And that's what everyone says about the drunk elephant, the TLC glycolic. Yeah. They say, you'll know. Immediately, my skin felt like better new skin, just better. Well, I'm getting that kit. That's just gonna happen. I also have the Tatcha. I don't think I've heard about this. Maybe I have. Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Protective Primer. I haven't, um, I don't know if I've heard about that specifically, but I've heard about people talk about Tatcha and say that they love everything. It from says it. it's a velvety priming balm of pressed silk that smooths and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of your skin and preventing clogged pores and breakouts. It sounds like amazingness. Yeah. Because when I hear that it's going to smooth my skin and make my makeup last longer, I'm like, yes. But also I need to look to see if it has the bad stuff in it. I keep I don't see it. wanting to try the Huda Huda Beauty, but like I was reading a couple reviews on one of the palettes and it was like three out of the nine shades are terrible. The other ones are good. The Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. Yeah. The Dior Addict Lip Glow, that is still on my list. I kind of want the matte color and it's out of stock, so... That's that's a no-go. But I kind of want the light pink oh, one. what? There's a bum bum cream like bath bomb. There's also a fragrance, a body mist. There was more stuff that I wanted, but the only things in my car right now are the SK2, the Becca, the Drunk Elephant, and the Tasha. Yeah. That, but I mean, the only things that are in my car $300, I know. $300 later. I know. I know they're pricey. Skincare is pricey. When you find stuff that's good, that does good things. I also kind of want to try the YSL. It's like a liquid lipstick, but not the drying kind. More of like the real, real lipstick, not drying. I don't know. I'm interested. Said. Okay, let's see my official total with what I have in my car right now. Not bad. I think I have to stop there. Yeah. I think I should only get those four things. Yeah. Two are makeup and two are um, skincare. skincare. Yeah. I, I need to clean my bathroom so I can get my skincare order. You need order. to read the primer ingredients to make sure there's no business. I just did. Okay, good, good, good. I just did. Okay. It's got a lot of silk in it. Yeah. Protein, silk, mm. hydrolyzed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. That is our Sephora VIB sale haul or our Sephora spring bonus event. Haul. We will have all the items listed down below so you can check them out if you're interested and we would love to know your comments on what you picked up, what you're gonna pick up, what you think we need to check out. Have you tried any of the stuff that we got? What are your thoughts on it? The are soft we going glam palette? To to... That, because you guys talked so highly about it in the comments too, I was like, yep, I'm gonna do that over the other eyeshadow palettes. I yeah, I, I, other eyeshadow palettes went out the door. I, yeah. I wanted to try this one first and then if there's more that I like, then maybe later on in the year when there's another sale, I'll get those too. At 20% off, looking forward to it. Cause I don't think we're on PR lists for any of those. That's another thing. Like we would probably get more makeup, but we do have some PR lists that we're right. on and we don't like the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Yeah, I just, love it. Leave those comments down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. And we'll talk to you guys in a video super soon. We sure will. Bye guys. Bye guys. If you super love this video and want to see more haul videos like it, then you can click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click the video on the left. And if you still haven't subscribed, you can click our circular channel icon and it'll sub you right up.